Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to see how actually we can perform a flatten transformation in Azure Data Factory and this is one of the most important topic because most of the time whenever you will work in a organization right you will get to see this kind of the problem okay how actually we have to flatten transformation azure data factory okay first let us try to understand where actually we have to use flatten transformation advantage and then we'll go further okay so generally what happened we get the data in a json format right now what actually happening so suppose your data is like this you have id you have data engineer you have a grid okay this is the three column now in the fourth column right under this employee you have a array under this array you are getting a multiple id name and their salary okay now you want to store this data from a json to a csv format now how actually you want to store you want id as a one column role as a one column grade as a one column employee id as a one column employee name as a second column and the employee salary as a third column so that is how actually you want to save okay so how actually we can do uh, that actually for that we have to use a flattened transformation okay in a flattened transformation uh, how actually our output will look like we will be having one id we will be having role we will be having grade under this uh, id grade role and grade right we have a multiple employee id and the employee name and the employee salary okay that is how actually our output should be okay if i will show you we have a id1 data engineer grade is there employee name is there employee id is there and the employee salary is there similarly for the same uh, id1 data engineer grade 2 we have a second employee his employee id and the employee salary so that is how actually we want to store and we want to flatten it by using azure data factory okay so how actually we can do that uh, let's me show you okay first let me go to the azure storage so this is my azure storage account here my file is available okay if i will show you this is the file now what we will do we'll go to the data factory we'll create one new uh, data flow come to the data flow click on the new data flow click on the source click on the new data set our file is available in blob storage so i'll select that continue file is available in a json format so i'll select that link service so same link links and blob store link service i'll select and i will select the file what is our file file is available in a json okay click on the okay okay once you do this after that go to the source and in a json setting click on the single document okay once you will do this go to the projection data preview first open the data flow debug click on the refresh okay now you can see we have one uh, employee and it is available in a array format so we want to convert this into a uh, in a different columns names okay so how we can do click on the plus click on the flatten select flatten transformation under this unroll by right under this unroll by you have to select the same column name and that only we you can select that employee so this is available in a array format that we want to flatten it so i'll select that here also i select the same okay and now here if you can see we have a id role grade that is already available this employee is in complex right so we'll try to select the employee id here employee id and uh, the name will give employee id okay click on the add mapping okay now we will select the next is like employee name 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 i am giving emp name again i will select the add mapping fix mapping and i will select the salary and i will give imply salary okay if you once you will do this right after that go to the data preview and see you should have a three more column okay for the same uh, okay for id1 data engineer role for the grade 5 we have employee id1 his name is money and the salary is this 
okay similarly for the same id 1 role is data engineer grade is 5 we have employee id 2 name is rahul and the salary is this so that is how actually we can flatten in and we can store into our database because this is uh, very useful for the people uh, who are actually doing any kind of the analysis and building a report now what we'll do we'll click on the sync and we'll try to save it save it so i will click on the plus blob storage i want to store into a csv format so i'll select that same link service i want to store into a output location so i'll select that click on the ok first row as a header i want click on the ok now what i will do i will just try to uh, publish all okay so this one is having issue the previous one so i'll delete that i'll click on the publish all no issue i'll create a new pipeline new pipeline i'll try to drag this data flow 5 once the publish will complete right uh, we will try to run it okay let's see if the publish is completing or not publish is completing now what we will do we'll click on that trigger trigger now now okay we have to first click on the publish all publish once it will publish then only we'll be triggering it so that the pipeline will run click on the trigger now now our data uh, will run pipeline will run go to the monitor now you can see our pipeline is running it is in progress once it will complete we'll see our output should be saved into a output location and now if you will see it is succeed now now we'll go to the our um, major blob storage i'll go to the output now we'll see if we have a file or not now this is the file which is available click there click on the edit now you can see we have a csv file we have id role grade employee id employee name and the employee salary in a proper format so that is how we can do i hope you got it that's it in this video thank you